We're celebrating 200 years of the change of name from Portmore to St Fillins. The area goes back far beyond that. We have in the lock a cranner which dates back to the Iron Age. We have Dundurn Hill Fort, which again dates back to the Iron Age. And the first recorded mention of Dundurn would appear to be in the 5th century and again in the 11th century when it appears in the annals of Ulster. Our image of St. Philan, like that of many early saints, is shrouded in mystery and suffers from the conflicting and sometimes unreliable written sources of the time. What does emerge, however, is that there were in fact two saints of the same name, separated by 200 years. The first settled here, close to Dundurn's Pictish fort, no doubt to spread his Christian message, while gaining a reputation in the area as a great healer. There are 200 years between the two saints, Rathern being the stammerer, like me, who is certainly associated with this area. In the fifth century, Dundurn would still have been a hill fort. The chances are that he perhaps built himself a hermit cell within the vicinity of Dundurn. Certainly, according to Thomas Armstrong, even right up until the 1880s, people were still traveling to Dundurn to be cured of their aches and pains. <laughs> 